Oh folks, here we go again. So apparently Sickers are now talking about GTA 6 trailer 2, GTA 6 online, the map, the Lucia Burda getting leaked out. Uh, and this time people are also talking about Jason. And I really, really hope that Jason will not get <laughs> censored. I hope that they're not gonna turn Jason around because a lot of people are worried that he's gonna get nerfed. But guys, I got a video that I wanna show you. In fact, got two videos that I wanna share, share with you and we got this post going uh, around as well. Like the video if you wanna see GTA 6 trailer 2 come up soon dislike the video if you hope the game gets delayed to 2026 okay <laughs> I, I wanna know where you at but check this so rockstar is now potentially preparing for a new gta 6 announcement next week after clearing their instagram account again keeping only 14 posts ahead of take two conference call <laughs> on may 16 yeah yeah that's what's happening now uh, yeah surely they're having a live stream which i will uh, absolutely stream on the channel so hit the subscribe bell but do you guys think that they're gonna and they have done that in the past where they have wiped out some images on their instagram on twitter right and they make room for the new announcement because they want to focus on the new announcement but more often than not it turned out to be a gta online update i i hope it's not gta online update this time but uh check this gta 6 trailer came out we learned some official information about lucia who's one of the main characters yeah but jason the other character uh -oh. is still a mystery uh oh we've heard some rumors about him but nothing's confirmed yet so it would be great if rockstar games could tell us more about jason in the next trailer the focus yeah. of the first trailer was primarily on lucia and her role in the relationship dynamic so many fans are hoping that the next trailer will shed more light on the second protagonist, Jason, as he received- I, I hope so, because I hope he doesn't receive that, that treatment where Jason turns out to be, I'm strong, I'm independent. Man, if they turn Jason into strong, independent uh, female, bro, that's gonna be crazy, bro. Like, because a lot of people are worried right now that GTA 6 is gonna be woke and all that, right? Uh, I, I hope Jason doesn't turn out to be strong, independent. Like the video if you don't want Jason to be strong and independent. Received minimal attention in the first trailer with his name not even being mentioned yeah not there we are there we are just because he's a man yeah just because he's a man like we ain't even gonna mention the name bruh like um, bro like, <laughs> if they make jason strong independent it's joe bro. much information has been revealed about jason apart from what was seen in the september 2022 development footage leak and the first trailer in the first trailer we saw that jason is in a relationship with lucia and goes on yeah. missions with her but we still don't know where he was when lucia got arrested or how he managed to escape while Lucia was caught. It's also interesting to note that Lucia had some lines in the first trailer, but Jason only said one word. To give both <laughs> characters equal attention, the next trailer should focus more on Jason. I this agree. is important because I Jason agree. could become a really popular character in the game. Yeah. So I agree, but it's crazy that like I I, I have a feeling that Jason is just gonna get manhandled by Lucia though, because Lucia is gonna be strong, independent. Yeah, uh, she's gonna be strong, independent queen. But I hope like they don't do my king Jason dirty though. Like, Rockstar that's Games should introduce him properly and not I keep agree. him in the shadows. I agree. Adding to the anticipation Wait for, for the GTA Wait 6 second trailer is the game's expansive map. While the initial trailer confirmed the setting in the state of Leonida and the inclusion of Vice City, rumors suggest the possibility of up to seven cities in GTA 6. Rockstar Games is yet to show more of the map and provide details about all the additional locations seven? and different types of environments seven. in GTA 6, as everyone wants to learn more about the diverse source it was revealed to me in a dream but technically though like i can see like three cities but four towns though right like uh okay so you got vice city right then two other cities kind of i don't know though i don't know uh, the map obviously we have seen the map outline uh it's not the official version it's the fan-made version based on the leaks and also the trailer and all that and based off of the real uh miami map too so it's pretty like uh, realistic but still not accurate I would say pretty realistic and based off of that okay yeah sure uh, I, I think the map is gonna be big so in that aspect they can make like three cities and three towns or four towns to in total you got seven uh, different kind of like areas and zones on the map that that would be insane though I, I definitely want to I definitely want that but I, I don't know man I feel like that Lucia Bruna is gonna be taking like 200 gigabytes on the on the map bro. <laughs> Uh, and, and the map is probably gonna be like a couple of kilobytes so i don't know about that bro. landscapes they'll encounter in the game additionally there's speculation about whether gta 6 will feature a map that evolves as players progress so i i think lucia bruna being like 200 gigabytes i i don't think it will leave any room for the map similar to gta san like andreas a and the second trailer may give some more details on this aspect as well i hope the so. excitement around gta 6 wouldn't be complete without a massive map 
and recent leaks have shed light on how Rockstar is approaching building design. Fans have long hoped for a game where most, if not all, buildings have interiors, and it seems like their wish might come true. According yeah, bro, 70, 70 percent! You suck as crazy? Yeah, this is the part that we covered in the last GTA 6 video when I made like a week or two weeks ago at this point. We had that leak going around. But nah, bro, for that one, you would need PlayStation Samity, bro. You would need PlayStation. <laughs> so, guys, hear me out. Sega's are saying this map is gonna be two times bigger than GTA 5. Okay, follow me here, okay, follow me here. Two times bigger than GTA 5. And 70% of the entire map is gonna be enterable. When I say enterable, I mean like the buildings that are gonna be on the map, 70% are gonna be enterable. Come on, dog. Like, we got GTA 5, right? Now, I guess uh, a lot can be changed in 10 years, but nah, man. Like, we don't have PlayStation 70. We, we, you would need PlayStation 70 for that. To leaks, a whopping 70% of buildings in GTA 6 will have. I, I can see 7% actually. Bruh. Have interiors, a significant change from previous games. While this sounds amazing, it might be a bit ambitious. Implementing interiors in such a large percentage of buildings could strain hardware capabilities, especially on consoles. However, with Rockstar's track record, anything is possible. Realistically, not all interiors may be fully detailed. Some buildings might only let players access certain areas, like lobbies, to avoid overloading hardware. But yeah. even if not every building is fully accessible, GTA 6 is still expected to be the biggest game in the series, true, with more true. interiors than ever before. True. There's also talk about Rockstar using AI or procedural generation yeah. to design interiors efficiently. No, honestly, bro, like, I, of course, I would love, like, 70% enterable buildings. I'm not against that, guys, but, like, gen gen uh, generally speaking and realistically, that ain't happening, bro. That ain't ha <laughs> that ain't happening, man. I, I think 7% is a lot more realistic. Bruh. And think about it, like, like, uh, maybe GTA 5 was, what's G okay, how, what's the percentage of, uh, enterable buildings in GTA 5? I would like to believe 7% for sure, or more than that. So, if, if we had 7% of enterable buildings in GTA 5, then, okay, let's up it to 17%. Bruh. 20%, I can see 20%, yeah, 20%, 70%, that's like more than half of the map, bro, like, c come on, dog. Or more than, more, more than half of the buildings on the map, bro. While this might worry some... Procedural generation is a common practice in game development and can work well when done right. It's possible that Rockstar will use a mix of AI and manual tweaking to create realistic and enjoyable interiors for players to explore. In the end, oh, whether Rockstar uses AI or procedural generation shouldn't take away from the overall experience. With a project as massive as GTA 6, it's understandable that modern tools would be used to achieve the scale players expect. The first GTA 6 trailer revealed that the game will be out in 2025, but it didn't give a specific date. Fans are hoping the second trailer will finally give us the exact release yeah. date. And to be honest, even if they finally give us a real release date, it's probably gonna get delayed. <laughs> It's their track record. And right now, suckers are believing that this game is going to come out by the end of 2025. Early, initially, it was like, it's going to be coming out early 2025. That it's going to be coming out early 2025. But right now, a lot of people have lost hope. A lot of people are like, yeah, bro, like, I don't think it's going to happen early. I think it's going to be coming out late 2025. We had rumors, uh, uh, b some bull squash, some might not be. Uh, saying that it can get delayed to 2026 and of course these rumors are just rumors But can you put this past Rockstar games because their track record have shown us that they are the kings of delaying games But with their games and with the quality of their products and games Not many people would be mad right like I haven't seen people being mad It's like it's more like hey man. Oh man. Oh, bro. like why why like another year? It's like more of that. Yeah, a lot of people would be disappointed sure, but it's not that uh, people would would be like ultra mad about them delaying games because they know that it's GTA it's uh, it has been confirmed we've seen the trailer uh, they're gonna be revealing more very soon as well and the game is coming so that's what we know people just hope that the game is good uh, hopefully not super woke it's gonna be a little bit woke let's be real because uh, in real life you have the woke stuff too so GTA is a parody of that uh, yeah sure right so if it's like that then it's not gonna be too bad because that's how previous GTA games were 
But if they decide to go ultra woke, of course, that's uh, also gonna get people mad. But GTA is uh, like super big, it's super big. So, regardless of whatever they do, it's gonna sell like hotcakes and it's gonna do insane. Rockstar knows that, everybody knows that. So, if they decide to really delay it to 2026, yeah, sure, like I said, people would be disappointed. But the game is just gonna sell regardless, though. But check this there are rumors that the game might be delayed with some people thinking it will come out around February or March 2025. I, I think... I, I, I hope so. I hope so. That's what I'll say. But nah, bro. At this point, mm, mm, probably not. But since Rockstar Games hasn't said anything official about this yet, it's yeah, likely that not. everyone won't find out the release date until the second GTA 6 trailer. In the first GTA 6 trailer, we got to see the two main characters and a few other side characters who will be part of the game. Fans are eager to learn more about these side characters, as some of them might play important roles in the story. It would also- GTA! GTA, we gotta talk! We gotta talk! Where my money at, GTA? Where my money at? Where my money at? It, it's honestly insane that the Joker in real life actually went that crazy. <laughs> Rockstar didn't even reply. <laughs> Rockstar didn't even reply, and he still makes a- and Right now, he has stopped. Uh, at least, I'm not seeing the same level of velocity, because he was, like, putting up videos mostly, like, every other day. GTA, where my money at? GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. We gotta talk. Where my money at, GTA? Rockstar Games, where my money at? I got lawyers, I got this and that. Like, he he was upping the velocity and he was releasing videos left and right. But right now, it's like once in a blue moon, he would release uh, videos and he would try to up the bounty. So, I believe initially, he was like, uh, give me a million, a milli, two milli. Uh, and last when I heard, he was asking for five million. Bruh. Yeah, five million. Can a brother get five pennies, guys? Also, be interesting to see some familiar Let's go for five likes on faces the video. from previous GTA games in the trailer. Many fans have a lot of characters they'd love to see again, and it would be exciting to get a sneak peek at the villains too, to see what challenges the protagonists will face in the game. Yeah, the initial yeah, yeah. trailer for GTA 6 showcased an impressive array of vehicles that players can expect to encounter in the game. Yeah, With yeah, the yeah. vehicle roster anticipated to be extensive, the second trailer could unveil brand new cars, bikes, Yay. and more, Yay. never before seen in any Grand Theft Auto title. Additionally, many fans are eager to catch a glimpse of iconic Vice City vehicles in the second GTA 6 trailer. Releasing the second trailer around the one-year anniversary of the first one is also a possible move. If they if they really really release uh, the the second trailer by the end of, end of this year though like uh December 5th is when they were supposed to but they ended up releasing December on December the 4th on the 5th they were supposed to but they released it a day early because somebody actually leaked it you know <laughs> somebody leaked it man. that that's crazy uh of course Lucia Bruna was leaked as well I mean, so what? People got to see the Lucia Bruna Rockstar. So what? Let people see gameplay. But if they were to release the second trailer by the end of this year, then I think the game is easily going to come up by the end of 2025 or potentially even delayed to 2026. If they release it in the next two weeks, like some people are believing, we're surely going to get their live stream. And uh, yeah, surely on this day, they're going to announce some information on live stream. Uh, hit the subscribe bell. I do believe th uh, that we're going to get some information. But is it going to be trailer two? I don't know about that one. Guys, check out this video on the screen we had a lot of information about the next gta 6 right we had gameplay leaks going around as well of course we talk about gta 6 online a little bit ai trailer 2 and all that so check this video out on the left this video is on my second channel yay second channel guys second channel check it out and i'll see you right there